We didn't know that, you know, 13 years later, she would still be in this conservatorship. In order for Brittany to earn an income from which her conservator father financially benefits, it must be proven that she is capable of being an engaging and entertaining pop star. Yet, it must also be argued to the courts that Britney is incapable in order to retain the conservatorship itself. So how did Britney end up here? Her personhood all but surrendered, unable to manage her own life or bank accounts, but able to record new music, star in documentaries, and fill arenas. I'm Pandora Sykes, and Pieces of Britney is my attempt to piece together the life of Britney Spears and the forces that have shaped it. We're going to look back at the week in which Britney was placed in this controversial conservatorship that she is desperate to leave. Britney is 26 years old, living in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, and the events of the coming week will determine the direction of her life for the next 13 years. She is divorced from former husband Kevin Federline, who now has legal custody of their young children, after an incident earlier in the month when Britney locked herself in the bathroom with one of the boys and was taken into a temporary and voluntary psychiatric hold. Britney is estranged from both her parents and has fired most of her entourage, including her long-term manager. Where there was once family and professional support, there is now a vacuum. She is living with a man called Sam Lutfi. From Britney's parents' perspective, Sam Lutfi is emblematic of everything that is wrong with Britney's life at that point. It's important to note that the events of this week are hugely contested. There have been libel suits, restraining orders and numerous public spats. And we have no way of knowing whose account is closest to the truth. It's Monday the 28th of January 2008. That night, Britney and Sam Lutfi are seen arguing outside her home by the ever-present crowd of paps. After Britney and Lutfi part company, the paparazzi filmed Britney sitting on the curb outside her house crying. This fight might be the chance the parents had been waiting for. Jamie's relationship with his oldest daughter has been described by those who know them as complicated. Jamie was an inconsistent presence in his daughter's life growing up. He struggled with alcoholism throughout Britney's childhood, and he and Lynn divorced early into Britney's stardom after years of terrible rows which Britney was often privy to. In 2006, she wrote a poem for her blog referencing the sins of the father. The guilt you fed me made me weak. The voodoo you did, I couldn't speak. The following year, during a period of erratic behaviour, when Britney struck a paparazzo's car with an umbrella, after which Jamie publicly chastised her, Britney responded, I am praying for my father. We have never had a good relationship. Like Lynn, Jamie seemed to think Britney's life was out of control and viewed Sam Lutfi as the source of the problem. Lynn considered it a life or death situation. Writing in her memoir, she reveals that while she was praying, her former husband was taking practical steps. Quiet plans had been underway for six weeks for Jamie to petition the court for temporary conservatorship of Britney but it seemed like an impossible dream at that point, with Sam still so entrenched in her life. In fact, Jamie was going to file for the conservatorship on January 22nd. According to Lynn, Lutfi said that he had been tipped off that Brittany was going to be committed to hospital again. Lynn was anguished that the authorities would be able to do this seemingly without cause. No sooner had she arrived at Brittany's than 20 police officers stormed into the house to take Brittany to the UCLA Medical Center on another involuntary psychiatric hold. Lynn, Jamie, Anne and Lutfi, as well as a horde of paparazzi, all followed the ambulance to UCLA Medical Center, where Brittany was admitted in the early hours of Thursday morning. For hours, the Spears couldn't see their daughter. When they were finally allowed into her room, Lutfi was apparently already there. When he went to get food for Brittany, Jamie and Lynn pleaded their case to the on-duty medical team. And from that point on, everyone, including Lutfi, was barred from Brittany's room. For now, the quiet plans that Jamie had apparently been making went into overdrive. By Monday morning, the 4th of February, Jamie and Lynn were in an LA courtroom filing a restraining order against Sam Lutfi, as well as a temporary conservatorship of their daughter. Brittany attempted to challenge her father as her conservator through a lawyer, but the judge approved a capacity declaration by a psychiatrist that reportedly stated Brittany suffered from mental illness to the point where she could not retain a lawyer. In paperwork that Brittany fans have shared online of the original temporary conservatorship document, the box was also ticked for dementia. 
Back to the Spears and their petition, unchallenged by Britney's court-appointed lawyer, the temporary conservatorship was approved by the court. It would be made permanent eight months later, and indeed it remains in place to this day. The court also granted the restraining order against Sam Lutfi, and Britney was back in the bosom of her family. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts.